Hey, hope all is well. Praying that everybody is safe and in good health as always. You all, this text is do not give in to temptation. Do not give in to temptation. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Y'all, I was actually supposed to give y'all this word in my last video i was supposed to discuss this with you all but i have forgotten and i praise god for bringing it back to my remembrance amen and so um the lord is saying that do not give in to temptation if he telling you all not to give in to temptation temptation is coming if not already here amen but he's saying do not give in to temptation but before we get into this word y'all know we have to pray so heavenly father we thank you for this word we thank you for bringing it back to remembrance heavenly father i thank you lord god for being our fortress lord god and our refuge thank you lord god for just being our god and upholding us with your righteous right hand but lord may i decrease and you increase in me father god bring forth this word like only you can do speak to our hearts and minds so that we can respond to you with obedience in jesus name i decree and declare that's done you all do not give in to temptation do not give in to temptation the lord led me to james 1 14 and 15 and it says but every man is tempted when he is drawn away by his own lust and enticed then when lust has conceived it bring forth sin and sin when it is finished bring forth death you all the lord is saying don't die right before your breakthrough don't die right before it's time for you to walk into your promised land do not give in to sin do not give in to sin and he led me to the book of genesis and reminded me of the story of adam and eve you all we already know that fall was like terrible because when adam allowed uh temptation to um get the best of him when adam allowed temptation to get the best of him adam lost his dominion just like that in an instant lost his dominion just like that god gave adam and promised adam all this other land and all these other things except that one tree the tree of knowledge of good and evil he told adam don't eat from that tree that was the only tree he couldn't eat off of but adam disobeyed god and instantly when he disobeyed god he lost his dominion and his eyes was open to his nakedness Adam eyes was open to sin. Amen. So therefore we don't want to be like Adam. We do not want to follow after Adam footsteps. Amen. And Eden has been a problem since time began. That's what he did. He ate. So be cautious of what kind of fruit you are eating. Anything you got delivered from, anything that's been tempting you, anything that's been on your mind constantly that you know is sin, don't eat of the fruit. Don't follow under the same condemnation as Adam. We cannot do the same thing, you all, because you want to see the blessings that God promised you. You want to walk into your promised land. Amen. Do not give in to temptation. Do not give in to temptation. Let me see. Um, he led me to uh, Matthew 12, 43 and, uh, through 45. And what he's saying is that... Um, when you get delivered from something, it come back even worse than you worse off in the state you was before you got your deliverance. So do not give in to temptation. And I'm going to read it. It says, when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, when a man get delivered, a.k.a. when a man get delivered, he walk through dry places seeking rest and find none. He go out and try to enter somebody else, but he can't find nobody to go into. OK, so he, he, he come back. Then he says, I will return into my house from which I came out. That's you. You got delivered from smoking. You got delivered from fornication. You got delivered from gossiping. You got delivered from lying. You got delivered. So that spirit is going to come back to you. And it says, and when he come, he finds it empty, swept, and garnished. Then it goes and take it with him seven other spirit more wicked than himself so that spirit goes out and gets seven other spirits and enter into you again amen mm -mm. and they enter and indwell and dwell there and the last state of that man is worse than the first even so shall it be unto the wicked generation so you all do not give in to temptation i don't care what it is i don't care what your temptation is right now do not give in to it because you're going to be worse off than you was before and in an instant you can lose those promises that god made you made you in an instant in an instant just like that as soon as you give in to temptation you done gave in on your promise you done gave in on your promised land and i'm pretty sure it's not worth it 
It's not worth it. So if God telling you to fast, don't eat. Do that fast exactly how God say. Your promise depends on it. Your promised land depends on it. God want you to walk into your promised land. Do he want to send forth this warning? He want to send forth this word. So please do not give in to temptation, you all. Do not give in to the temptation. And I remember having a a, a little moment. Um, the guy, it was between the guy and smoking. And I just like my deliverance. I don't want to do so many things at one time. I want to do one deliverance, get rid of some and do something else. But I was like, man, do I want to talk to this guy? Keep talking to this guy or do I want to um, smoke? I chose smoking, y'all. I mean, it was. I chose smoking. The guy wasn't even worth it. And smoking wasn't worth it either. But I felt like I, I don't want to be treated no any kind of way and all of that. So I just chose smoking. Then uh, God delivered me from smoking. Amen. But whatever it is, anything that I done backslid in ever in my life, it never was worth my purity. It never was worth it. And whether it was sick, drinking, or smoking, it was never worth it. So whatever you're battling with, whatever you're dealing with, I know that it's not work it, worth it. And I pray that God, you know, help you in your weakness. And I pray that you take it to God and let him know that's what's dwelling in you instead of just laying there or sitting there or walking around thinking about this certain thing all the time and not taking it to God. Amen. Do not give in to the temptation. Do not give in to the temptation, thus says the Lord. And you already know. If the Lord is warning you about the temptation, it's on its way, if not already there. I bind up the hand of Satan off of your mind and off of your anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God strengthen you to not give into the temptation. And Lord God, continue to lead and guide us, Lord God, into your presence so that we can remain pure, so that we can uh, continue to be subject and sensitive to your spirit so that we can obey you in all things in Jesus' name. Well, you all, I pray that this added to you. God bless.